One third, I think. Okay. Um, maybe we'll shortly introduce uh, Fulsum. The, physio, the video that you've just seen was um, some impressions of speakers of how they perceive Fulsum and everything. But so, if we uh, do a query on the domain, which is of course what matters. So, Fulsum stands for the Free and Open Source Software European Developers Meeting. And this year we will have more than 300 talks by more than 280 speakers, which is amazing and a new record. Um, now, what makes FOSM special? Well, there are many things, but one of the things is that uh, it's entirely organized by volunteers. So all the people you see running around in yellow t-shirts, they've been working at it for months, <laughs> weeks, and, uh, and nobody's paid to do this. Um, yeah, all for free, soft free software, of course. Now, FOSM was created 10 years ago. So the first edition was uh, 3 and 4 February in 2000. And so uh, today, we're 2010. And let me quickly check who was here also during the first edition. Can you, can you raise your hand? One, two, three. Yeah. All right. Now, I want, let's go back to that first year. Uh, thanks to modern technology, we can easily go back. And so uh, the archive, the way um, has a copy of February 5, so let's check it out. And it this beautiful web page, especially notice the logo, a nice hybridization of a beastie penguin gnu animal. So uh, this started, and we recalled Osdem those days. And let me point to a nice little detail here on this page. So apparently, uh, the first edition by singing the, the free software song all together. How nice. Okay, um, let's go. Um, so in 2002, thank you, Wayback Machine. This is how our website looked like. I think it's very 2002, especially notice uh, the beautiful banner. It could have been hosted on, uh, uh, what was it? Well, it's beautiful anyway. Okay, so 2003, we wisely changed to something more modern. Uh, this is what it looked like in 2004. We didn't, didn't have a lot of inspiration. Kind of stick to it. Or maybe I shall speak without. No? Okay. Maybe if I use a failover. <laughs> right. <laughs> so in 2004, uh, same website again. Then 2005, some. And uh, then, actually, well, it's hard to read, but the web server crashed and we lost all our data. Great. So we thought it was a good start for a new website. And so in 2007, new website, new data. And then it changed again in 2008. And uh, well, that's the same uh, theme that we're still using. So 2009 and this year, it's 2010. This is where we're at. Now, what if we never changed our name? What if we would be called Osdem today? Well, luckily, the Wayback Machine also allows you to visit parallel universes and everything. And so, if we would be called Osdem... <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> Uh, is she maybe sitting here somewhere, or no? No. Okay. Um, well, that was a kind of interesting history of uh, FOSDEM, the websites. But there are also probably the things you came for, uh, tracks and talks. Um, as you probably know, for two thirds of everyone, uh, we have different types of lectures. 
The first of all, six main tracks. Uh, these main tracks are held in the two biggest rooms, this one and one uh, on the other side. Um, these are the six main track lectures, and there are also three keynotes, uh, two keynotes this morning, and one keynote um, on Sunday evening about kernel hacking and kernel drivers, etc. We also have more than 20 developer rooms. Those are really, really technical lectures, um, most of them. At least 30 plus lightning talks, that's um, 15 minutes uh, timed with timer. So if the speaker tries to go one second longer, the microphone shuts down and the timer just buzz. So it's a little, you, if you give a lightning talk, be aware of that and we don't want to shame you in front of everyone. Um, while working around in the H building, this building, in the AW, the other building outside, there are also many stands. Um, be there, walk there, t um, talk with people. Um, that's why you are here and not following the conference using video streaming or something. Um, this map is also in the information brochure. You can get at the info desk. The info desk should be here in this building. We are currently in the Janson. Um, something interesting to know is that on Sunday um, afternoon we will have two Fusdom buses driving you from uh, this place there where Stram ridden um, to the Brussels South train station. Approximately every 25 minutes a bus of 150 people can drive to the train station. So um, it drives up till eight o'clock, I think. So don't hesitate to stay a little longer if you can and enjoy the talks. But let's take our way back machine again and um, look at this lecture in 2001. Who can recognize the room? Yeah, one? You were there? You were really following that lecture? So you know the speaker? Richard Stallman, indeed, and uh, you probably also recognize his halo. It's not a disc. It's a halo, but it was a disc in a previous life, of course. Everyone knows that. Um, uh, Richard was one of the very well-known speakers who was at our first FOSM conference, and we really thank him for that. Um, and, well, the room still hasn't changed, of course. That's the ULB. But we also thank the ULB because we can get almost all the rooms for almost nothing. So without them, we couldn't organize this conference for free. And um, yeah. So this is again yet a picture of uh, this auditorium almost full. Um, of course, more people are coming to see Richards than myself. Um, but here he stands in front of the crowd, trying to convert the already converted. Okay, we have more than talks, people. There's also more uh, activities where you can, well, participate in actively and stuff. There's like a key signing. Um, well, you'd have to be registered on the beforehand, but uh, if you see a long queue of people standing in front of each other reading blah, 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 that's probably the key signing party, so you know where to go. Uh, buff room. So, um, you can find a list um, in the AW building. Uh, it's marked in the brochure also where exactly uh, on one door of one room where you can schedule a birds of a feather meeting for 15 minutes or, or, or 30 minutes, maximum 45 minutes each for a project or for a meeting for whatever with a group of people that you want to have a meeting with. Um, there's uh, hacker rooms. There's two. There's one in the uh, in the main corridor over here, in the middle of the main corridor, up the stairs where you came from probably, and one in the AW building. There are certifications, exams for LPI, uh, BSD, Type 03, um, 
So, quite a few other things than just booths, dev rooms, uh, talks to listen to. Um, well, so uh, this is a beautiful picture of uh, the key signing in uh, last year, I think. So it will be on, on Sunday, in case you registered, and this is what it uh, tends to look like, a long queue of a lot of people. Um, there is a room scheduled for the key signing. Uh, I know that there will be more than 130 people, I think. So the plan is to fit them inside if possible. If it's too difficult, then a fail back of outside will be done again. But the good thing though, this year it's not as cold as last year. Um, maybe, um, who has a network device right here? Probably almost everyone with those smartphones. Um, you know from the history that in the past, well, we didn't like to talk about the network subject, so it's a nice weather outside. Um, fortunately, in 2008, there was a change. We bought some WRT devices, some three com access points, and had a quite stable network, but the whole network was segmented in different micro nets. Um, last year, Cisco proposed to help. Uh, around Sunday, the network was stable because it's still quite a serious job. And around the top moment, we had 700 simultaneous users, which is also quite a lot. But this year, we thought, well, we can do better, of course. Better means 800 meters of fiber, one gigabit internet uplink inside around almost two kilometers of copper. Uh, we have 18,000 public IPv4 addresses, so every device that is on the network gets a public IPv4. Uh, be careful if you have an iPhone that is not patched. <laughs> but that's your own fault then. Um, and 18,000 plus IPv4, did someone say there is a shortage? I read last, no, two weeks ago that there is only 10% left. I think we have 1% of that 10% for the conference, but we also have IPv6. Um, you will notice on the splash page that the FOSDEM logo on the, I'm not sure about the URL, but the FOSDEM uh, wireless splash page, there's a logo blinking if you are using IPv6. Um, I didn't count the number of IPv6 addresses, but we surely have enough. Um, the SSID is, of course, FOSDEM, and right now, and even one or two hours ago, the network was stable and working. There are also some nice statistics you can see uh, online about the usage of the network. So that's really a good point, though. But yesterday, we weren't very happy, honestly. We laid those 800 meters of fiber, and while testing it, it didn't work, of course. What else? You're organizing conference with an internet uplink of one gigabit and don't have a backup. Well, your backup is 10 megabits half duplex. Is that an option for 3,600 people? No, not really. So out of six strains, we had one strain working. Those who know how fiber works know that you need two strains. So fortunately, again, those ULB ICT staff were there and they helped us resplice the cable yesterday evening. So that's finally worked. You might also have noticed we had a quite a panic moments when yesterday we realized we had only five gigahertz antennas. But fortunately, the Cisco guys went back to their office at 1 a.m. and found a box of 100 uh, 2.4 gigahertz antennas. So everything is really fine. Um, we are starting to panic because everything is fine. There must be something that isn't working. Um, so what's the most important thing for a hacker's brain to function, I ask you? It's food, of course, food, which is why we start every FOSDEM event with taking care of the Food in fluent, in fluid form, of course. But so we started out very small. We were a few more the next year, a bit more the next year, 
And uh, well, well, yeah, hmm, okay. So, but uh, no, well, enough about uh, this beer event. Let's talk about actual food. Food. <laughs> food. Sorry. Food. Okay, right. Um, we also have it in other forms, uh, not so fluid. Uh, there's two bars. There's one uh, in addition to, the, to last year's one bar underneath the auditorium over here. There is one up here. Um, there's burgers and fr fries in the main street you walked into, presumably. Over here, we op we've also doubled the capacity of those. And so you shouldn't have to starve. Your brain should be okay. You should be able to function, I think. Right. Money. Money. We need shitloads of money. Uh, I said before the conference wouldn't be organizable for free because there are a lot of costs. Not only security people, security staff, hardware, insurance, uh, transportation of speakers, hotels of speakers, etc., etc., etc. So we usually thank our sponsors. Thank you. Um, a good thing, though, sponsors don't have anything to say about the program. We refuse sponsorship if they tend to say we want to give a lecture. Eventually, you will notice that some sponsors are giving lectures, but usually it's more, hi, would you, give a li would you like to give a lecture at FOSDEM? Yeah, sure, nice. Hey, do you want us to sponsor you? We, how much money do you have? <laughs> That's the way how it goes. Um, of course, the usual sponsors come back at us and ask us, yeah, same deal, same deal as last year? We say, yeah, thank you. Okay, done. So... Yet again, thanks to all the sponsors. But without the sponsors, we still don't have enough money. Um, so we still, for more than 30%, uh, need the uh, donations. Uh, to thank you for all the donations, we give things in return. Here's a simple table. Um, there are some drawers, and uh, the more money you give, the more chance you get to win things. Um, the um, donations draw, the presents will be given on Sunday during the closing talk, well, the, the donation talk. Um, that is scheduled just before um, the um, just before the last lecture of uh, Greg about our kernel drivers. Okay, on to the last point: the mythical Fosdem dance. Who has seen the Fosdem dance before? Raise your yeah, yeah, that's okay. And is there somebody who knows the history of the Fosdem dance? No. Nobody? Maybe too shy? Okay, let's, uh, let's take a look at the beginning of the Fosdem dance, which was in, uh, in 2006. So we have uh, two of the original organizers here on the picture, um, Raphael and Damien. And so it all started out with them when back in the days when an opening talk was done without slides or anything like that, and you just went on stage and told the story. And so the story that, uh, that they were telling was that um, Damien was running late for something, of course. I mean, there's plenty of things to run late for here at Fosdem. And, um, and he was explaining why he was late. And he said, yeah, I was doing things and over there and stuff, and, and then I had to run, and I had to run, and I had to run, and... Well, that's basically how the Fosdem dance uh, originated. So this was uh, in 2001. Now, because this dance was so beautiful, in uh, 2007, we did it again in a bit larger numbers. Uh, 2008, um, again, even larger numbers. And then last year, in 2009, um, now, this year, it's 2010. So the question is, what will we do this year? Should we do the Fosdem dance again? Yeah? Okay. We, yeah? 
But of course, it is our 10th anniversary, right? So we should celebrate, actually, that it's our 10th anniversary, right? <laughs> no, that's for the French speaking. That's not an option. No, what we had in mind is that we would just do the Fossum dance all together. Or, or we could, of course, also sing the free software song. <laughs> no? So I, I propose that, uh, that we will all do it here together. Maybe first we will give a, a little demonstration, a proper demonstration as a warm-up so that you can uh, fully acquire how it looks like, what the moves are and everything. And then we're going to ask everybody to come here on the stage all together so that we can celebrate our 10th anniversary by doing the Fossum dance together. Okay, but first a little demonstration. Um, do know that we will probably uh, enter the Guinness Book of Records of a <laughs> conference with the most dancing people. Right. Uh, this is serious. No humor, please. Okay, so maybe um, some more of the stuff for the demonstration. Um, um, maybe I can play the air hostess uh, that is in the airplane explaining how to put the safety jacket on, etc. Yes. So you just put yourself, open your two legs approximately at a similar distance. Take your two arms next to you. Left your right leg. And then do like you're walking or running. That's it. So it's not really difficult, honestly. So now just... Close that laptop for who has a laptop open and come over here. Yeah. Um, just to be clear, there's no way to walk outside of this room without coming here. Yes. And All also the doors should be closing right now. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay, come on, come on. Come on, people. All right. Cool. So we're, we're going to take come pictures, on, so don't worry, there's no excuses. Come on, uh, guys. Just come on, come on the stage. Come, on. come in front, please. Everybody. For the 10th edition. Get up. Let's dance. Come on, guys. Go. Really? You guys are already sitting in the right position to... Uh... Right. Go, go in front. Go, go, go. Those uh, who are sitting behind, we do not forget you. Si, si, si. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, I just got confirmation that the doors are closed, so please stand up. You won't be able to properly say that you were at FOSDEM 2010 unless you were at that stage doing the FOSDEM dance with everybody. So get up and join us. Come on. Join us. It's normal that the stage is too small. Some of the rooms are too. So just get a little bit closer. We can all fit. Is this, an, is this not a conference where people like to talk and meet each other? This is a way to meet each other while <laughs> dancing. <laughs> There's still room in here, people. Don't be shy, really, don't be. Shy. The oh. camera is still running, by the way, so this will be all on video.fosdem.org and uh, on the common video sites, like uh, YouTube. Come on, guys. Just don't be shy. Don't be shy. Okay, that seems quite a number of people. We do understand that some geeks are rather shy, but well, even in such a crowd, nobody will recognize you. All right, some more people deciding. Are Go some ahead. people still interested or? This is a one giant huge Fosdem dance. Come, join us, come. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I, so Tios, I think we're we're just packing up. Uh, keep a safe distance. You don't want to kill the geek behind you. <laughs> okay, so now just spread your legs, not too far away, of course. Yeah. Equal distance. Equal distance. Put your arms at your sides. 
Lift the right leg up. I and see many people with their hands in their pockets. Yeah, it hands doesn't out work of the pockets. That way. On the you side, please. You have to use your arms. Lift the right leg up. Up that right leg. Up, yes. up, up, up. I, I should see only one foot everywhere yeah. here. Huh? Okay, okay, and run! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Woo. Thank you. Huge applause for this crowd. Thank you. And um, enjoy your conference. Woo. All right, thank you everybody. FOSDEM has officially started. Uh, there is a first lecture coming up in a few minutes. It's about open source in large companies.